Angus, a decorated Reading police officer known for the number of DUI arrests he's made, has cost the city almost $150,000 in settlements related to accusations of civil rights violations. The North States News, uh, Mason Carroll, has been tracking that money, and she's here with us. Mason. Mike Jacob Provincia was named top cop by Mothers Against Drunk Driving in 2017. And just earlier this year, he was recognized by the city for making 2,000 DUI arrests. However, we've received two settlements from the city involving Officer Provincio. One of those involves former firefighter Miles Quaife, who says during a traffic stop three years ago, Provincio molested him and permanently damaged his shoulder. Like getting molested, that's, it's not like that doesn't mess around with my mind. It's not like I see every Reading police officer now and trust them. Miles Quaith is a Reading native. He describes himself as determined and disciplined to the point of being called boring. He takes fitness seriously as a former firefighter and competitive strength athlete. One chilly night in mid-October of 2019, after studying all day for a grad school test, he was taking his girlfriend home at 1 in the morning. He was headed north on Shasta View when he made an illegal legal left-hand turn onto Highway 44. That's when Reading Police Officer Jacob Provincio started following him. And that vehicle started uh, tailgating me at a high rate of speed that was very unsafe and I and I wasn't sure what was going to happen, honestly, because the, the vehicle was tailgating me so close I couldn't see its headlights. Provincio eventually pulled him over. This is when Quaif says the night took a turn. You know, he asked me at that time if the rules were for everybody else and I said no they're not. Um, he said, well, why did you take the turn? And, and that kind of ensued for about four, you know, two to three minutes. Quaif did not have his physical license, but provided Provincio with his license number. Provincio said he could not identify Quaif and told him to step out of the car. And he just happens to take his hand, puts it in my shorts and molest me. And it wasn't like it was a brush looking for a pocket. He grabbed a handful of me. There was no pat down on my legs. It was just he put his hands on my shorts. He says he tried to respectfully answer Provincio's questions for another five minutes before Provincio put his hands on him once again. And at that point, he bum rushes me. As I'm sitting like this, he grabs my arm, puts it in a rear wrist lock to rear arm bar, pulls it out, pulls it behind, and uses that to elevate me around the front of his bumper to the, to the rear passenger door on the side. Quaif didn't know it at the time, but he says these few seconds would leave him with permanent nerve damage in his arm, ending his career as a competitive strength athlete. It's injury all because of a left turn. How does that? That's exactly what I keep trying to reconcile because it's probably one of the most frustrating things I've ever had to swallow. After more questioning, dispatch was finally able to identify him. Provincio gave him a ticket and he was able to go home. Quaif wanted to put a complaint in immediately after, but first came traffic court, where he says Provincio continuously lied about the stop. He said that I was, you know, reeked of alcohol, you know, just this picture of someone who I've never been, let alone with a law enforcement officer, you know. And so, I mean, it was just, <laughs> it was almost, you know, he just hasn't told the truth from the get-go. Not from the traffic stop, not from in front of the county commissioner, not to his supervisors. Quaif decided he couldn't stay quiet about what happened to him and started working to take the city and Provincio to court. It's incredibly frustrating. I mean, I, I have always tried to be an above-board individual, probably to the extent of being called boring by most people. To have that kind of come full circle to trying to be as disciplined as you can, especially with fitness and my health, because I've taken such a level to attain it, you know, and so to have that negated over a left turn, I can't even put emotions to it or words to it because it is so frustrating. He reached out to lawyers about a potential lawsuit. Many were reluctant to take on the case due to the connection to law enforcement. You are fighting an uphill battle when you are taking on uh, any type of complaint against a law enforcement agency. Eventually, he and the city reached a settlement of $120,000. Quaif says it's not enough to replace what was lost, but he chose to avoid a longer legal process. Today, Quaif still has nerve damage in his arm and will for the rest of his life. He still respects law enforcement, but that trust has been broken. He says there needs to be accountability and for the good officers to take Provincio's place. You know, what's, what's the best outcome for this even after all these important things have been taken away from you? I think the biggest thing is just that people own up to their mistakes. I want good police officers to be safe. They have to have latitude to make decisions. But it's like when I'm being as respectful of you as possible and you molest me and take away a big portion of my life as far as being a strength athlete. And so to get that taken and then look at the system, it's hard to know. 
Now I did reach out to Chief Bill Schuler about a comment on Officer Provincio. He says by law, personnel matters are confidential and cannot be disclosed except in certain limited circumstances. And I am unable to comment on any personal matters related to Officer Provincio. I also reached out to the city attorney, Barry DeWalt, about the settlement. And he says in all cases, we try to reach settlements that are advantageous to the city of Reading in each case. We look at the totality of the circumstances in each case to determine handling. Each case is different because the factual scenario in each case is likewise different. Now, I have reached out to Provincio three times while working on the story, but have not received a response. Provincio is also the target of pending litigation, accusing him of sexually assaulting a woman during a DUI arrest. To read more on that case and to read this full settlement, you can go to krcrtv.com. Reporting in the studio, Mason Carroll, The